This is Crazy Al Kane. Um, we have Dr. Truth right here. He's going to interview some of the riders and, and, and find out, uh, you know, what, what their health regimen is, what kind of diet that they have, you know, and, and, and what they do to, to get ready for these races. Because they have to have a, a, a good health diet, you know, not too much um, uh, processed chicken and stuff like that. They need to eat the right foods. We're going to go over here to the Red Line camp over here. We're going to find out what's, what's good. And Dr. Troop is going to um, get an analysis of, of how these guys get ready and, um, and injuries and things of that nature. All right, we're right here still once again. We're coming from First State BMX. We had the Red Line booth, of course, as you can recognize. All their product right here on the table. You know what I'm saying? Representing the uh, Shimano... Uh, was that gears? <laughs> Shimano parts. Um, Shim yeah. Shimano parts. Most, most famous for the gears, but parts in general. Yeah. I, I'm new to this. I don't know the whole you know BMX situation. That's why I'm talking about medical situations. Yeah, yeah. Keep it medical, son. <laughs> <laughs> now you know, I'm not really familiar with the whole BMX situation, all the technical aspects. Yeah. But I'm gonna ask you about the whole regimen, the whole situation about getting prepared and getting ready for a race and stuff like that. So, what are some of the things that you do to get ready for a BMX race? Well, you know, I'm a weeks leading up to a race. I'll do sprints and plyometrics and go to the gym and work out hard and then. For our races, want to get good sleep, eat right, and warm up well and cool down well. Now, how does that help you now in the race itself? Uh, it just helps you get mentally prepared, and you know you want to win, so you gotta you gotta prepare right, because all the other guys are. So if you're not, you're not gonna win. Right. And have you have a lot of have you had a lot of crashes, you know, uh, coming up and during your, your races and stuff like that? How many crashes have you had? Oh, so many. I can't I can't even count my career, but I have a lot of broken bones too. But just gotta keep going. Don't think about it. Just pin it. What was the worst that ever happened? Uh, I broke both my arms at once last year. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And you still came back. Yeah. See, determination, folks. It doesn't matter. You break three arms, four legs. <laughs> Hold on. What was you trying to do? Like some type of mick twist during a race or something? I don't really remember, to be honest. I was knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> he was going hard with it, y'all. That's called going hard. <laughs> But in any event, what, what are you going to be racing here today? Uh, junior men and 17, 17, 18 expert main events coming up quick. Okay, and, and what's your position as far as like, you know, in points and stuff like that right now? Um, I'm ranked uh, tied for first in the world in junior men and fourth in 17, 18, so i got to maintain those and hopefully, hopefully get a good finish this weekend. And what is like your typical diet before a race? Like what do, what do you eat? Uh, I try to eat carbs the night before. And then during the day, just try and eat like little stuff I can snack on because I get pretty nervous, so I can't really eat any big meals and hydrate frequently. So a lot of pasta and a lot of little Debbie's and Hostess cakes, basically. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My name's Tori Nahug from Vancouver, BC, Canada. I ride for Redline Bicycles in Oakley, and I'm watching CAC TV. As I said earlier, BMX is for everybody, all age ranges, all class divisions, height, sizes, and so forth, male, female, genders, and so forth. And then we have some of the, the younger, the younger up-and-coming BMXers right here. Hello, tell everybody your name. Ricky Castro. Are you racing today? Yeah. And wh where are you going to be racing? What division? Um, 8X. 8X right here, Ricky in 8X. And what, what, what are some of the things that you do, Ricky, to prepare for a BMX race? Probably just do sprints out on the sidewalk and stuff. Sprints out on the sidewalks and push-ups. And what, what about you? What about you? What's your name? Uh, my name is Joey. Joey, and where are you racing today? Uh, 10 Expert. 10 Expert. He's racing 10 experts. That means he can probably beat some of the older guys in the expert categories as well. And what, what are some of the things that you do to get prepared for a race? Uh, sprints and uh, push-ups and pull-ups. Push-ups and pull-ups. See, look at the definition on there from the push-ups and the pull-ups right there. That's that's straight iron bars right there. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the things that, that you, you eat to prepare for a race? Uh, I try to eat carbs like pasta and stuff. And... Um, but you do sneak in like some hostess cakes and stuff like that too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Extra, extra cake too. We won't tell nobody. We'll keep that a secret. <laughs> do you, you want to give a shout out to anybody? Like anybody in your family, your mom, dad? I'm good. Okay, he, he's good. <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, thanks to my dad, he brought me here. No, that one. That's not me. Not me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try and find this dad. <laughs> say it again. Say, say thanks to your dad again. Say that. Say thanks, Dad. Thank you. 
<laughs> and what, what, what's your name, sir? Well, I, I think you guys already did me, but uh, Lenny, Lenny Kilgore, Vancouver, BC, Canada. Lenny Kilgore. And what are some of the things that you do to prepare for a race, Lenny? As far as like your your training, your regimen, and stuff like that. I'll tell you the truth. Uh, this for this race, I didn't do much. <laughs> okay, so uh, I broke my wrist in January in uh, in Reno at the indoor, and uh, so then I went to school for six weeks and. And uh, so Jason Carnes from Redline here is going to whip me into shape in the next few weeks. But what are some of the things that you would normally do uh, if, if you were like really... <laughs> sprints, gym, uh, I was training with Ken Cools all last year. Uh, just going to the gym, doing lots of leg work, squats, and plyometrics and stuff, and okay. sprints. So that, help, that helps with the the, the legs, that like when when, you, when you're whipping the bike, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you can if you can push 400 pounds in the squat rack, then a a 20 pound bike's nothing. So okay, that's what it is. Yeah.